Primary trigonometric ratios. Question 26. The length of a side of one equilateral triangle is equal to the length of the altitude of another equilateral triangle. Prove that the ratio of the area of triangle to the other triangle is 3 is to 4. Now, let's look into these triangles and then solve the problem. Let's say this is one equilateral triangle whose sides are x units, right? Let's say each side is x unit long, right? So this is x, this is x, and this is also x, right? So it says the length of side of one equal triangle is equal to length of altitude of another. So, and let's consider the other triangle where the altitude is x. So in this case, we will consider that the altitude is x. Altitude means this, right? That makes 90 degrees and this side is x. Now since both are equilateral triangles, each angle is 60 degrees, right? And all sides are equal. Now let's drop a perpendicular here. Now we have two triangles. Side length is x in the first one and altitude is x in the other one. We need to prove that the ratio of area of the triangle to the other triangle is 3 is to 4. That means this area is 3 then it is 4 for the other triangle, right? So after all what is area equals to? So area of a triangle equals to half base into height. Now so we are given base for one triangle and height for the other. That means we need to find the other things, right? So let's find what is the base for this triangle. Now since this is 60 degrees, let's say the base is B. Let's say this side is A, half of base is A, okay? Then we can solve this triangle, which is 60 degree triangle. And from here, we know tan of 60 degrees is equal to X over A. So what is A equals to? A is equals to x divided by tan 60 degrees. Right. Now tan of 60 degrees is square root of 3. Therefore we can write A is equals to x over square root of 3. Right? So tan 60 is square root of 3. Now so we know A and therefore area of big triangle, let me say A big triangle is equals to half, now base is how much? Base is 2 times A, right? A is half the base, right? A is half the base, so base is 2 times A, so 2x over square root 3. And height is x for us. So we get x as the height for this one, right? So we can simplify this and we can write this as x square over square root 3. Now let's solve the other triangle. Now here we don't know the height. So let's find what the height is. We'll again use tan 60 degrees and figure out what the height is. So we get tan of 60 degrees is equal to height over b this half of base right this much this is half of x let's right? say so half of x is that okay therefore h is equals to tan 60 we know is square root of 3 tan 60 is square root of 3 so we'll write square root of 3 for tan 60 times half x right times half x so that is the height for this triangle so what is the area of this triangle this area of triangle small, which is, let me write small here, is equals to half, now base is x for us, right, times height. This is height, square root 3 over 2 times x, which is square root 3 over 4 times x square. Okay. Now we need to find ratio of areas of the triangles right so the ratio of triangles small over ratio over big is small triangles 3 over 
square root 3 over 4 x square right and for the big triangle it is x square over square root 3 now this is equals to x square x square will cancel and we get square root 3 times square root 3 over 4 which is 3 is to 4 do you see that so we have proved that area of small triangle to area of big triangle is equals to 3 is to 4 right now for some of those who don't know why I took square root 3 as the value of 1060 let us consider the special triangle right let me make a special triangle which is 30 60 90 so let me draw it here just as a reminder let's say this is an equilateral triangle whose sides are 2 1 and then the height will be 2 square minus 1 square square root 2 square is 4 4 minus 1 is 3 so this height is 3 right and in equilateral triangle angles are 60 degrees each right so what is tan 60 so you can see tan 60 is square root 3 over 1 do you see tan of 60 degrees is equals to square root 3 over 1 which is square root 3 correct I can write like this and then square root 3 so tan 60 is exact value of tan 60 is square root 3 so that really helps us to solve this problem. If I go to decimals, then we'll get approximate answer, right? So that is how we have to do this problem. Thank you.